Hi everyone, this is your math guru. In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve the 4x4 Sudoku puzzle. We have to fill in the puzzle so that every row across, every column down, and every 2x2 box contains the numbers 1 to 4. What it means is, if I check each row, I can only have numbers 1 to 4. Already in this row, I have the number 2. If I check each column that's down, I can only have numbers 1 to 4 without repeating any number. And already in this row I lighted, I have the number 4. So that means I can only fill the row with 1, 2, and 3. Likewise, if you check each grid of 2 by 2 boxes, I can only fill each grid with the numbers 1 to 4. In this grid, for example, I already have the number 3, so I can only fill in the remaining 3 boxes with numbers 1, 2, and 4. So let's start. If I start with the first block, which is this one, you can see that if I look to my right, I already have the number 2. So that means I can't have 2 in this block. If I look down, I already have 4 in the same row or column, so that means I can fill the box with 4. I'm left with 1 and 3. If I look at the grid as shown, I already have the number 3 in the grid. So what that means is, for that first box, the only number left is my number 1. I'm going to do the same for each of the grid and each of the boxes. If I go to the second box, so I keep looking to the right or on the same row and in the same column, I already have in that box, the bigger box, the numbers 1 and 3, so I'm left with the numbers 2 and 4. However, if I look down, I have the number 4 on the same column, so that means 4 is out, I'm left with the number 2. If I look at the row as given, I have numbers 1, 2, and 4. I can only have numbers 1, 2, 3, and 4 in each row, so the only number left will be the number 3. I'm going to do the same for all my rows and column. So now in the first block of 2 by 2, I have the numbers 1, 2, 3, I'm left with the number 4. If I look at this row, I have numbers 1, 2, and 4 used. I'm left with the number 3 for that row. If I go ahead with this box, on the same row, I already have the numbers 3 and 2. I'm going to check the column. If I check the column, I have the numbers 3 and 4, so I'm going to add 4. The missing number will be my number 1. And if I check the same 2x2 two two box as shown, I've used the numbers 1, 3, and 4. The missing number out of the 4 numbers will be my number 2, and I will fill up that 2x2 two two grid. If I go to the next grid, or the next row at the bottom, I've used the numbers 1, 2, and 3. I'm left with the number 4. If I check this column, I have... I'm going to start with this block or this box, such that if I look at the column, I have numbers 3 and 2 already used. If I look at the row, I have numbers 2 and 4 on the same row. The missing number will be 1. And on that row, if I go ahead and check, I've used, I'm looking for the number for this block box. I've used numbers 1, 2, and 4. The missing number will be my number. 3. It's easier, it gets easier as I fill in the boxes. 
if I look at my last row, I have 2, 3, and 4 already used. The missing number will be number 1. So I have 1, 2, 3, and 4. And for my last box, if I look at the last 2x2 two two box, I've used numbers 1, 2, 3. The missing number will be number 4. So now that they understand the concept, I'm going to make or solve the second puzzle faster. I'm going to start with this box. If I look at the column and the row, I already have numbers 2, 3, and 4, so I'm left with number 1. If I look at the row, I have numbers 1, 3, and 4 used. I'm left with the number 2. I'm going to take out the line. If I look at the box shown in this grid and I look at the bigger box, that's the 2x2, two two, I've used numbers 1 and 2. And if I look at the row, I've used numbers 3. So I'm left with the number 4. And taking into account the grid 2x2, two two, I've used numbers 1, 2, and 4. The missing number will be number 3. Likewise, if I look at this row, I've used the numbers 2, 4, and 3. The last number to use will be now number 1. If I look at the second row, I've used numbers 1, 2, 3. I'm left with number 4. If I go ahead and look at this box, if I look at the column, I've used the numbers 1 and 4, and if I look at the row, I've used the number 3. The missing number will be 2. If I look at this row, and I look at this box, on that column, I've used the numbers 3 and 4. Likewise, on the row, I've used the numbers, the number 2. The missing number will be 1, so that completes 1, 2, 3, and 4. If I go back to the last box, the numbers 1, 3, and 4 has been used. I'm left with the number 2. If I go to the last box, or the last second to the last row, numbers 1, 2, and 3 has been used. I'm left with 4. Then in the last box, looking at the column, number used, 2, 3, and 4, I'm left with number 1. And the last but not the least box, I'm left with the number 3. Thanks for watching. Bye.